So what are the symptoms of a cervical herniated disc? Well, initially you may just feel neck pain. And sometimes people even describe a pop or a sensation of burning in the neck. And I believe that's the first start to the herniation. So view the herniation as a process. Initially, just pain, but that usually progresses within a day or two to more symptoms into the arm. Now remember, because the hernia disc is putting pressure on the nerve, what you're gonna feel is nerve pain. And those are things such as pain, or also numbness or tingling. And if the nerve is being squashed a lot, you're even gonna get weakness. And that's usually in the arm, typically in one arm, but it can be in both arms. If the herniated disc is more towards the center part and you have pressure on the spinal cord, you're gonna have other symptoms of greater concern, such as difficulty walking or loss of bowel or bladder control or numbness into the feet and legs or the buttock area, and that is something you have to contact your doctor about right away. Also, if you have symptoms such as progressive numbness where it's getting worse by the hour into the arm or hand, or weakness with that which is progressive, you also have to call your doctor or go to the emergency room right away. That means that the herniated disc is so large that it's putting pressure on the spinal cord in a way that could be dangerous for you, and that would be the time to go to the emergency room most likely they will do an MRI scan or CAT scan of your neck, confirm the diagnosis and recommend treatment. But that's very rare. Usually the symptoms of the cervical herniated disc are pain into the arm with some numbness and tingling and maybe some weakness in the arm as well.